I'm Katie Turr outside of Trump Tower in New York, where Senator Bob Corker came to talk foreign policy. Good meeting. And to mirror on vice presidential speculation. You're the highest ranking Republican leader to actually visit Donald Trump on his home turf yeah. since he became the presumptive nominee. Why would you make the trip here if it was just for a high hello? You know, I think it's certainly worthwhile to sit down and get to know the nominee in a little bit different way. And Campaign sources tell NBC News the Senate Foreign Relations chairman is popular around the Fifth Avenue headquarters, especially with the boss. While most hesitated, Corker got out in front, praising Trump on his foreign policy speech. I like the speech, and I think what you're saying is someone who's evolving. In a new NBC News Wall Street Journal poll, 42 percent of voters nationally say they are very uncomfortable Trump would be the first president without a background in government or the military. Senator Corker certainly could try and achieve the balance that Trump doesn't currently have, but people don't vote for vice presidential nominees. But it's not all roses. Corker supported immigration reform and trashed Trump's Muslim ban, a subject Corker says did not come up today. You know, we talked more about uh, China, uh, Russia, the fact that he's challenging some of the, uh, the status quo, if you will. It, it is causing these countries to, to think a little bit uh, differently about the U.S. The US. For the first time in weeks, Donald Trump is back on the campaign trail tomorrow with five public events scheduled for this week, including a $25,000-ahead fundraiser in California. Lester. Katie Turry, Midtown Manhattan. Thank you.